Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about IP cameras for your NAS. Let's face it, you've all bought a NAS, maybe you're on the verge of buying it, you're trying to make the most of your investment and you're wondering what is this thing about surveillance, how do I take advantage of it and what are the right cameras for my NAS in order to tune up Asus Door Drobo, whatever, what are the best cameras. So without further ado, let's get started. So when you buy your NAS for the first time, you may have noticed surveillance station amongst all the many, many apps that are available. And what that means in real terms is the ability to add IP or internet protocol cameras around your home, office or more and have them picked, be picked up by the NAS. The result being that these cameras dotted all around will monitor your premises, your home again, your office for security or insurance and feed and record all that footage onto the NAS for retrieval if and when you need it. But there's more to it than just a bunch of cameras recording footage. You could have done that with a bunch of you know, webcams connected to a computer. What's useful about the surveillance station software from, once again, Acer Store, Thecus, Synology, or QNAP is that it's an entire control deck where you can view multiple cameras all dotted around all of them in real time. You can create whole uh, systems whereby you have control paths and cameras monitoring certain areas or even areas of a camera's viewpoint. So if, for example, you're monitoring just the window in a room and someone breaks the window, then you will get an alert that something is occurring. You can integrate this surveillance station software with an existing security protocol, such as doors that require facial recognition uh, into a camera and more. But one of the biggest and earliest steps you're going to have to you know, go into when it comes to um, getting your surveillance station set up are IP cameras, because there are quite literally hundreds of IP compatible brands with the main NAS vendors. And today I want to talk about two, technically two and a half vendors that you should be con concentrating on when buying the cameras for your NAS. First and foremost is the company Edimax. Now Edimax has one of the largest ranges of IP cameras that are compatible with NAS, provide, uh, NAS devices from Synology, QNAP, Acer Store, and Thekus. They have indoor and outdoor cameras and they have a range in the thousands. Although most of their modern units, you can probably narrow it down to about 50 different units. Now, yes, there's a big range, but you have to look out for factors like uh, PTZ, pan, tilt, zoom, um, weatherproofing, IP66 certification weatherproofing, if it's gonna be outside, POE, power over ethernet that means a camera that is powered just by the ethernet cable that's connected into it from the switch um, that your cat or your router if as long as it can deliver power it can be powered without mains power um, then you've got other things like um, heat vision night vision motion detection and finally having the camera wi-fi accessible now edimax has a whole host of cameras and the prices do scale up and down accordingly and all of these cameras do check the compatibility listings pages for your NAS provider. But if you're looking for the greatest range of IP cameras, I definitely recommend Edimax. So they've been around a long time. They've won all kinds of industry awards, both in Taiwan and around the world. Um, and also, just their range caters to everyone. So if you're looking for anything like a 20 quid camera, they have got basic IP cameras that your NAS can utilize for less than 20 pounds, all the way up to some that are a few hundred pounds that are insanely enterprise, weatherproof, outside, Wi-Fi enabled, and more. But if you don't want to spend ages going through the camera listings and trying to figure out the right one for you, because let's face it, with that much to go through, you're going to waste a lot of time, then I would recommend Reolink. Because Reolink is a company um, that I've dealt with for a little while now, and I've dealt with most of their cameras on different NASs. Now, a lot of their range is NAS compatible with Synology and QNAP, and moreover, their range is much smaller and a lot more user friendly. Their lowest price camera, I think is about 50 pounds, and they're about 50 pounds, 70 pounds, 100 pounds, 110 pounds, 150, up to about 200, 250 quid. But their cameras are very, uh, much easily classified. So you've got an indoor camera without pan, tilt, zoom, an indoor camera with all the features, a wall mounted camera, an outdoor camera, a Wi-Fi camera, a PoE camera. So if you don't want to go through the you know the ranks of cameras from the likes of Edimax, then you can go to Rio Link where they've got a much smaller range. I said there was two and a half uh, NAS uh, IP camera vendors that we should talk about, and one of them is Hick Vision, because that I'm going to give them half a point because Hick Vision has a huge number of cameras, but most of them are not 
NAS compatible. They're only compatible with individual apps. So yes, there's a lot of HIC Vision cameras that are compatible with, Windows, um, with Synology, QNAP, Asus, Dora, and Ticus, but most of the cameras that are compatible are either no longer produced or have been superseded by newer units. So it's much easier to find out what their latest releases are and if they're compatible. But otherwise, I would definitely recommend Edimax or Rio Link. One last point before we go, and something I cannot stress enough, do go into the comments to the article at NAS Compares uh, for a 2018 update on IP cameras. Um, the surveillance station software from all of these devices and, uh, from the vendors Synology, QNAP, Asus Store and Thekus is ever evolving with firmware updates released fairly regularly and it's not uncommon for a camera that is compatible now to not be compatible in a few months time. That said, if the camera is compatible now and you've, had, you've bought the camera and connected it and it's visible, it will continue to be compatible even after they say it isn't. And a lot of that is to do with ONVIS, however one pronounces it, O-N-V-I-F. And that's kind of a generic driver for IP cameras. So if you do buy a camera that at one point or another, either I, Synology, QNAP, Asus Store or Thekus said was compatible on their compatibility list and now isn't, go into the uh, go into the camera brands selection and when adding the camera to any of these devices and select ONVIF as the option because then it will load a default driver for the camera and then the camera will work. Do bear that in mind. So don't worry if you buy a camera and suddenly you're being told it's not compatible. Chances are it will work with that driver. There are a few exceptions and I still recommend checking compatibility lists and making sure you buy from somewhere which has a suitable return policy because again with NAS and with NAS brand and IP camera bands uh, brands working at different speeds there's no guaranteeing that one will not be superseded in terms of firmware over the other but apart from that these are the two NAS and um, IP camera bands you should be looking at and if you want to learn more do visit my articles at NAS Compares on the subject of IP cameras below for the very best indoor, outdoor, Wi-Fi and PoE cameras. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or find it helpful, why not chuck me a like and subscribe. Keeps this channel going and makes helps me make more videos for you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.